Okay, that looks good. Now, the thing is, is how can I tell what each piece is? Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this one down. There we go. Is go into the object, basic attributes. There it is. It's labeled undo. The next one is labeled step backwards. And I'm looking at this right here, step forward. So that's how I can keep track of it. So what I'm going to do first is this is undo. And I want to pull up the pieces that I, the little uh, elements, menu elements that I created in Photoshop that I told you that I spit out. And I put in a folder. And I'm just going to go over here in the up icon. There's up, over, and down. So basically up is normal. Um, over is select. And down is activate. So I hit the little folder on the side. goes to my structure. And this is where I have everything. And let's see here if I'm not mistaken, this on desktop. And I called it icons. Uh, 3030. Uh, miscellaneous 4. I'm worried about normal. And so undo, redo. I'm just going to double click it. There it is. Undo, redo. Now you'll see that it looks like there's some writing on top. So what I have to do is go up here, if I'm not mistaken, and click, I think it's label. And if I hit delete, yep, that gets rid of it. All right, so back to here. All right, so Going here, normal, select. I want select, so I have to go through the folder structure again. I know. But once you set this, and if you have a, if you have everything in one folder, it makes it even easier uh, to a certain extent. Normal, select, and um, boom. And same thing here, down, activate. And uh, let's see, desktop, icons, 3030. Activate. There we go. Now I'm just going to go over here and make sure I got an N S A. Okay, there we go. Uh, now let's go to the next button. So this next button was step backwards. Uh, so we're going to go step back normal. See, it's already going to where you originally went. So all I have to do is just find a particular button and I'm already in the states folders for each one. At normal, step back, select, activate, step back. And that's all I'm gonna do, but remember, this looks a little scrambled right here. And can I zoom down? Uh, so all I have to do is just go to the label. Since I know what it is now, I can delete it. Boom. Okay, and this should be step forward. There we go. Step forward. The reason is beeping is because I'm clicking it twice. While I'm over here, all I have to do is click it once. Here, I have to click it twice. So step forward. Click once. Step forward. Then again, I'm just going to check my work on this. Normal. Select. Activate. And you'll see uh, I'm dealing with pings. Go ahead. Don't need the label anymore. Delete that. And then cut. Okay. So uh, on these three, I'm going to move these down. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a little bit of separation. Okay, so cut. There. Now, uh, just to give you, uh, maybe you want to do this for the future. You have commands here. You can also do scripts, uh, Photoshop scripts. You can have buttons for them. If I can get this, sorry about this. 
Hide cooler, show cooler, hide character style, all these little panel scripts. And then here you've got actions. You can actually do actions. You can do scripts. You can do script files. Um, creating buttons for that. Widget, same thing. External panel loader, external search widget. Uh, there's all kinds of things. It'd be worth it uh, if you're interested in going further to actually go to the Adobe Lab site. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, they'll show you uh, things that you can do. Um, and uh, let's see here. Now, I've created this. And so what I'm just going to do for giggle's sake is I'm just going to move this in a little bit and keep everything centered, but in this case it's not. So I'm just going to go ahead and put everything at the very top. Like I said, give me a, myself a pixel or two there. And then here, I grab the bottom and it should, yeah, now it's getting centered. So I'm just going to bring it up a little just to get it close. And then uh, height, let's leave that at 220. That'll be nice. So this is what it's going to look like. Go to File. I'm just going to go ahead and save the panel. And it'll ask me where I want to save the panel. I'm just going to save it here. And then uh, I'm just going to preview it, show you what it's going to look like. Preview panel. That's what it's going to look like, basically, for the most part. Uh, there's going to be some slight differences, but that's close enough for government work. So you got a nice little panel. Now, this is going to show you something. Save it. And we already have. We've saved the panel. Now, when you export it, you want to export it into the Adobe Photoshop application folder and you want to go into plugins and then panels and you want to save it in and panels in the plugins folder um, gonna go ahead and do that and hit OK now watch this cannot export the panel to program the reason being is I'm gonna close this that's why I saved it I'm gonna go ahead and close this and uh, let's go here to and I'm going to write, I'm out of the uh, Configurator 4 program right now. I quit it. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to run it as the administrator. And we're going to hit yes so I can make the changes. You have to be running this as the administrator in order to save the. Um, okay, so this was untitled, open recent, untitled. Now, when I go over here, export panel, same spot, got a check mark. All right. Now, whoop-de-doo. How do I get it into Photoshop? I don't see it anywhere.